hell, dude? No, dude. What do you want me to do? Dude, if I go out there, I'm grabbing the freaking gun and I'm catching a charge, okay? This is really inappropriate. Where's security? I assume they're off tonight. Oh, real nice. Real nice, Michael. I feel like they've been off for a week. Well, call them. Dude, I'm getting angry about this now. Are they banging? I don't know, Michael. Dude, go out there. No! Let's see what they want. I swear to you, I'm gonna look into freaking cameras. I'm gonna look into freaking. Call doors. security! Where are they? They're just off tonight. What was that? I don't know, Bridget. What the hell are you doing? Don't know! They see us! I'm gonna freaking beat someone with Lucille, Bridget. I go out there and do it! You want me to catch a charge? A murder charge? No. That's what's gonna happen if I go out there with Lucille. I'm swinging blindly. Call the cops. They're gonna come here and the person's gonna be gone and they're like, okay, let us know if they come back. Let's just move. Let's just sell the house. What's the point? Our address was leaked the day we got it. I hate this! What's going on, you guys? Can't be on a camera here. Bridget was here, and nobody is going to scare me out of my house. Then go get the gun. I got no sleep last night, you guys. None. Maybe an hour or two, because somebody decided to ring our doorbell and bang on our windows last night, which is totally freaking inappropriate. Making somebody feel unsafe in their own home is how people get killed, and that is dangerous and not cool to do. So we're going to have to get the police involved. I've already called the police. Felt so stupid doing it. Got to hire security. Or I've already got security. I got... Damn it! Guys, you have to know that there are boundaries and there are stuff that you cannot do. One of those things is coming to somebody's house this late at night to bother them. You shouldn't ever come to somebody's house like that unannounced because it's totally inappropriate. And no, But that late, totally, horribly inappropriate. So I didn't get much sleep last night, you guys, but I was thinking all night... And I did want to give you guys a throwback Thursday story, something that I've been meaning to give you for a solid year. And I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to tell you anything more about it. I just promise you don't want to skip it. I promise it's a really good throwback Thursday story, and it features a very special guest. So that's coming later. Guys, I had to call the cops this morning, and that's not cool to do. That's not... I'm leaving for New Orleans soon. Not cool. Not cool. Poor Bella's over there half asleep. <laughs> Poor girl. She actually stayed right by my side all night. You gotta get some rest, girl. You can't just stay up all night. Hey, girl. Thanks for staying up with me all night. I appreciate it. I gotta tell everybody about the notifications now, okay? You go to sleep. You get some rest. Thank you, though. Oh. She really sat by my side the entire night, you guys. Just sitting there watching me awake. Thanks, girl. I'm about to go outside and tell this throwback Thursday story, but before I do, 
I wanted to remind you guys to click the bell so you could be notified every time that we upload a vlog because YouTube just announced that the only way they're going to deliver you a notification is if you click it. So, if you want to be reminded that I uploaded a video, click the bell, tell YouTube you want to be notified, and you're going to get it every time that I upload. Guys, this Throwback Thursday story, you don't want to miss. I promise there's a very, very, very special guest. It's almost nighttime, you guys, and Bridget and I are kind of getting freaked out because we don't know what's going to happen. Last night was horrible. Tonight's probably going to be horrible, too, and I just wanted to take a second to talk to you a little bit about all that. A lot of people probably think we're overreacting when we freak out because somebody knocks on our door or comes to our house or drives by, and I wanted to kind of explain a little bit on my behalf why it scares me, why it always scared me, and where it actually goes back to. It's kind of like diving into my own psychosis. Why do I freak out when I mess around with strangers? And I wanted to talk about it. Guys, this is not the throwback Thursday story that you want to skip, I promise. The story begins when I was just five years old and we lived in an apartment complex. Now everybody where we lived swore to God that there was somebody who was on the loose and he was targeting people in the apartment complex. Now I didn't know what that means. I just know dad was afraid, mom was afraid, everybody was afraid, but hey, don't take my word for it. Yeah, we lived in Brackenbrook apartments back then and uh, there was a some, some guy escaped from the jail and we only lived like two miles from the jail and they, pretty, they were all out in our neighborhood looking for him. That's why I've been scared of prowlers, you know, forever. Thanks, Dad. Guys, we lived in an apartment complex and somebody was loose. Specifically, somebody who escaped from prison, okay? Like, everybody was afraid. I just didn't really know what it meant. I was a kid. However, I learned really fast. Now, we didn't have a lot of money. And not having a lot of money meant that I lived in a bedroom with no curtains and no blinds. Which meant people could see me while I was sleeping. So one night I'm asleep. And all I hear is little tapping on the window. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. And I don't think anything of it. I'm trying to sleep. Of course I'm frozen in fear, okay? I'm lying. I was terrified. I lift my head and all I see is a face in the darkness staring at me through the window. Now guys, I can't begin to express to you how scared I actually was. This is my bedroom. I am not to be bothered and there is a complete stranger staring at me from the window itself. And I was utterly terrified. So I start screaming my head off, dude. Dad! 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 And he wasn't coming. Dad was nowhere to be seen. I don't know what's taking him so long. I'm screaming bloody murder. I'm terrified. Kim and Jennifer woke up. We're all screaming. I can hear mom in the bed saying, what's going on? And dad's not doing shit. 10 minutes goes by. This guy's still waving. Hey! And dad's ass is still in bed. Guys, that's the reason I'm so terrified for people to come to my house. Because somebody was staring at me while I was trying to sleep. That's why I get scared when people come into my house at night. That's why I have to hire security when something happens. Because I'm scared. I don't like to be bothered. I don't like to be messed with. I hate it. It pisses me off. It scares me. It's the reason why we gotta get weapons. Meanwhile, the guy's staring at me through the window. And it was terrifying. I can't begin to describe how terrified I was. Kimberly and Jennifer start screaming. They're in the next room. They're running around screaming. Dad finally comes into the room and he has a butcher knife. Guys, he had a butcher knife. He finally came to the room. He sees the guy and he just takes off running out the apartment and he chased the dude off of our property with a knife. That is why I am scared of people coming to my house. Because I had somebody staring at me while I was asleep. Now you're probably wondering, why did it take Grandpa so long to come to the room to help me in the first place? He should have just come right then, the second he heard a scream. And look, I'll let him describe it to you. I thought you were lying. Lying? Why would I lie? You always lie that that in. You were a liar. I was four or five years old. I was not a liar. So you were a liar. <laughs> I wasn't a liar. <laughs> you lied all the time. But, what, hey, but it doesn't really matter because I went, 
I went and looked out the window and damn, there was my out there. Right? <laughs> Should have seen her, Bridget. Dad takes off running out the door. He has a knife I in his hand. I have a knife. I have my knife stick. I'm going right after that dude. Oh my god. That night affected me because for the rest of my life, I was terrified. Well, my would be out offended by what happened to me when I was six years old. Guys, do you want to hear that story? Click the like button. Grandpa dealt with a prowler too, and it was the inspiration to a main channel prank. If you guys want to hear about it, smack the like button. That's it for this story. Guys, thought I saw a prowler staring at us. Grandpa came to the room freaking out, ran out the house with his knife. One of the most terrifying nights of my life, just seeing this face staring at us. Like a damn chessy cat. Oh my gosh. I'm covering this lens. That's scary. And that is our Throwback Thursday story, you guys. We recorded this a year ago. And we just never actually got around to using it. Last year, everything that's happening now was happening again. People were driving by our house, knocking on our doors. We had to hire private security. And while that was happening, I decided to tell the throwback story. And I did it in a new way. I was practicing a new method where I would spin it and I'm with dad. Then I spin it back and I'm alone. Then I spin it and I'm talking to mom or whoever. And I never got to use it. I'm getting ready to tell the story and I'm like, wait a minute, I've told this story and I told it with dad. And so I did it the way I was gonna do it last year. So there it is, you guys. I told you you didn't want to skip the vlog. <sighs> dad, I love you. It was actually really hard to edit that. It really was. I believe it. It was almost like, you know, it just happened or something. Yeah, it's... Anyway, that's our Throwback Thursday story, you guys. We're gonna be getting out of here in just a second. Before I do, actually, are you gonna be okay? I should be fine with all day security. All day, yeah. All day. Dude, all you... All day security when I'm here by myself. Dude, you are like breaking at the seams. I can tell now. What would you do if the freaking stalker actually showed up? Like, so, I think I know exactly how it would go. Let me in, sweet cheeks. <laughs> Don't kill me! Nailed it. No! No! Another take. Be more, just, just a touch more realistic. Okay, sweet cheeks. Dead on. Hey, pretty lily. Hurry, my boyfriend's in New Orleans. All right, sweet cheeks, let's do it. <laughs> well, that's gonna be it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. I showed you the throwback story that I've been wanting to show you for a year, featuring Dad. Love you, Dad. I miss you every day. Uh, this whole stalker thing, I don't wanna keep talking about it, especially me going away. What? Security! What? They're just not working tonight. Michael! What? Security, call them. They are gonna... Call them! They work, okay? Guys, that's gonna be it for today. Like? Subscribe, call them. Favorite. Or I will. Favorite. Follow on everything but to us. And that's it. I love you guys so much. I love you guys too. Turn a light on! <laughs> oh, I just heard someone. That's the alarm voice. Be careful. Shh. Oh my god, do you see anyone? Felix probably like, no. What is that? What? 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 I don't like this open. Hold on, dude. Look. Is this spit? It looks like it. What? Careful, please. If somebody's spitting on our windows, mm. oh. <gasps> we 
We got eight.